another episode of Brandon is just struggling to get this bike back together. I've been dealing with bearings for the past two weeks. The swing arm for the bike is actually off at the shop because I could not get those bearings out. The steering head bearing, I've been battling this thing for like the past two weeks and I just got fed up with it and I ended up having to buy a tool because I could not get the new steering head bearing on and also had to buy a tool to get the old steering head bearing off. But the reason I'm in this situation in the first place is because I had the new triple uh, powder coated and the bearing that came on it, which was brand new, I didn't get that off before I had it powder coated because I simply did not know how to do that. And what ended up happening, that bearing ended up getting cooked in the oven when it was powder coated. So I took the old bearing off and I had to put a new one on. So in that uh, situation, I ended up getting the old one off but getting the new one on is an entirely different beast. I have frozen the triple, put it in the uh, freezer, let it sit overnight so that metal could shrink and then heated up the new bearing, dropped it on, it still would not go. I've hammered this thing on and it's just been a nightmare. So I reached out to my good friend the internet and I bought a glorified freaking pipe from Tusk, the same people that make the crankshaft puller that allow me to put the engine together. And we're gonna to see today if we can finally get this thing on. The way I was doing this before, I was taking an old inner race piece from the prior stem bearing. You can see piece right here. Oh, when I took off in the individual little rollers, I would sit it on like this and I would take a punch tool and tap in various areas around here, but the tolerances on this thing are so freaking tight that it's just difficult. And I've been scratching this new powder coated piece up, just trying to get this thing on. So that's why I ended up just resulting to buy this tool because this collet right here fits like that, then this part of the tool slots on top, sits in that collet, and then you have a dedicated piece that you can hammer down. It sends all that force down to push this thing where it needs to be, and hopefully it goes on here. The way that the steering stem works, you got the upper bearing right here that has been replaced already. The one that was in there was this one. It had a little catch on one of the rolling bearings, so it needed to be changed out. But this slots in like this, and it comes through the top that when it's fully seated. And these little rollers right there, it allows it to turn like that. But you might be wondering, well, what is this rolling up against? Well, there's a little inner race right there or outer race that it sits on. I left the original one in there because there's no nibs or catches on it, so it rotates freely as it's supposed to. It's fully greased inside of there, but there's no nibs on that. It's still a good piece, so there's no point in me changing it out. This is the last piece that is preventing me from getting the entire front end of this bike done. And by that, I mean upper triple, lower triple forks, front wheel, also the swing arm. When I get that back, I'll be able to get the bearings put in it. But this is, this steering, head bearing is really, it's preventing everything. All the grease that I put on here has kind of come off of the surface because I've been like getting my hands greasy, cleaning my hands, trying to get this thing hammered on. So it has grease in it. I'm gonna have to put some more grease on it, but yeah, let's see if we can get this thing on. We're gonna take this socket, we're gonna sit it under here. So as we're hammering, we don't knock the bottom, we don't knock all of this through the bottom. Like we're hammering and then this ends up just sliding out. We're gonna have a whole nother situation. So this should stop it from happening. Then we're going to take the proper collet put it on top. Then we're going to take this piece right here, sit it on like this. And we're going to hammer this thing and hopefully it goes down like it's supposed to. I'm really hoping that it, that it does. Looks like it's working. Actually, let me make sure before I go forward with this. 
So it is going down, but the downside to this is I'm damaging the bottom of this because like I said, we're trying to make sure that the it doesn't come out the other side. But at this point, we're doing what we have to do. Now that that is on there, I gotta add some more grease to it. Let's see what we got. Oh, that is beautiful, man. It's beautiful. That is beautiful. Right lock, full lock, left full lock. And we got the steering nut that goes on top like this. Let's just see what we get. Obviously, it's not going to be full adjustment, but we got to get the uh, upper triple on there and everything. But that's that's looking good, man. Add all this grease back. I packed grease in here with the glove and all this before. The front end can finally go on the bike, man. We're making some crazy progress, which is cool. That was, that, that, oh my God, that tool just really made me happy, man. I love when a plan works out. All right, so what did we learn here? Well, sometimes you just have to buy the freaking tool. I struggled with this for two weeks trying to get this thing off and I still have not gotten the ones off the swing arm. I had to just, I just said, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna send this to the shop and have this done because I can get them in, I just can't get them out. And in this case, I could not get this one in, but I could get it out. So yeah, even though this tool cost 65 bucks, it helped. I was able to get this on within a matter of two minutes versus spending weeks on and off trying to get this thing off, scratching it up because I was getting the bearing on, trying to get it back off to try another technique and I ended up scratching up the triple in, in the process. So Tusk has not let me down yet. So if you want this tool, put it in your arsenal. I will leave a link in the description. Definitely check it out. It could definitely help you and save you some time because I will be doing this on another Indian Chief that I have. It has a busted up triple as well. So I'm gonna have to do this again. So for me, 65 bucks, it made sense to get this tool. And now I will be able to go ahead next and put the rest of the front end together and move forward with getting this bike completed. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next part of this and hit that thumbs up if you learned something and got value out of this and I will see you in the next one. Peace.